Hello and welcome to another episode of Badman Reviews. And I'm sorry today is not as extravagant as Fridays usually are, but I've been sick the last couple days, so sorry for any, I don't know, stumbles in this video or anything like that. I'm a little under the weather. Also, I don't usually do this, but I have notes to the side here, so I don't forget what I'm supposed to be saying, because still not 100% just yet. <laughs> But what I wanted to talk about today is my E3 predictions. Their E3 is just around the corner, and by that I mean like next week, and there's a lot that we can kind of guess and already know that's going to be happening at E3. So I just wanted to go over some of those things and then basically get my opinions on them and see what you guys think about them as well, because I always like to hear your opinions on things like this. Ugh. So starting off, let's go over some PS4 stuff. The most obvious one is the PS4 Neo, or the new PS4, whatever you want to call it. It's They've been rumored, kind of not rumored, going around that there's a new PS4 coming out. And it's has a new uh, 4K resolution. That's its big thing. It'll be able to output in 4K, it has a higher GPU acceleration, and it'll be able to play virtual reality games much better. That's like the main thing for this console that they're kind of pushing, that people have kind of figured out. It's still, it's not confirmed yet, but it's kind of also confirmed. So that's something that we're going to be looking forward to. Next is something I'm really excited for, Sucker Punch. The people who made uh, Infamous have been rumored to be working on a new superhero game. A Spider-Man game, and as someone who's a huge fan of Spider-Man, I cannot wait to see what Sucker Punch does with this game, if these rumors are true, and I would, I can't wait to see a trailer if it shows up at E3. That's one of the games that I'm most excited for and most looking forward to, if, if it's real, because that would be outstanding. We also have uh, Hideo Kojima, his new game is going to be coming out, it's been in the works for a while obviously with uh, his new company Kojima Productions, so we can assume that we're probably going to see something, something announced at E3 from him. Uh, maybe not even a trailer, maybe just him on stage going, I'm working on a game! This is the, and then like just a picture of the game. Um, so. That's kind of what we have looking forward from Kojima. I don't think we're going to get a trailer or anything from him. The game's been out like... I mean, their, their production team has only been together for like a year, so I can't see anything too amazing or stunningly, stunning coming out from him, but I can see him on stage uh, and announcing something. We also have Crash Bandicoot. I've already talked about this a lot, but I obviously have to mention again. Crash Bandicoot... Uh, for anyone who's not super into Crash Bandicoot, the fandom has been going into a frenzy because there's a lot of hints pointing at E3 this year having Crash Bandicoot, with the voice of Dr. Neo Cortex tweeting that he was doing some more voice acting for old characters, including a doctor, so that's kind of got us on the whim, and a couple other things including weird copyright infringements going on, Crash in Uncharted 4, there's a lot going on, so a lot of the Crash fan base is going insane, thinking that we're going to get something. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a new Crash game, truthfully. I think we're going to get a remake of the first three games, Crash 1, 2, and 3. We'll get an HD remake of those, and I'd be totally fine with that for now. It would be amazing just to have that. Also rumored is God of War. God of War has kind of been on hiatus for a while, yeah, we've had God of War 3 for PS3, and we had the remaster, but we haven't really heard anything in a while, and there's been some leaked, uh, pictures, not gameplay, but, uh, prototype pictures, like, you know, hand-drawn pictures of Kratos in weird environments and whatnot, so we can only assume that from these pictures that God of War may be in the works and we may be seeing something, coming out soon. It would only make sense because it's Kratos, it's God of War, oh, I'm sorry, and it's one of Sony's big franchises. So seeing a return to God of War on PS4 is not out of the question at all. 
Uh, the last thing for Sony is obviously some more Last Guardian footage. It was a big announcement last year, and we're obviously going to see some more of it this year. We saw some more of it um, in a couple... Uh, another conference, I forget what it was called, but we saw another some more gameplay footage of it, and there have been a lot of reviewers posting online their thoughts on it, saying they've been able to play like the first like 15 to 30 minutes of the game, and saying that it's fantastic, and they've loved every minute of it. Uh, so maybe we might see a playable version of that game on stage for Sony, which would be fantastic to be able to actually see what the game looks like being played. Alright, next we have Xbox, Microsoft. We have two consoles from Xbox. We have the Xbox One Slim, which is supposedly a much smaller console, half the size with two terabytes. Uh, which would be nice, the one terabyte on the Xbox One that I have, and some people have 500 gigabytes. It disappears very quickly, like, Halo, um, I think it's Halo 5, yeah, Halo 5 is like 60 gigabytes by itself, and I think it's racking up closer to like 80 gigabytes now, uh, with all the updates that have been coming out. So that's, that game is getting very big, and that's literally one-tenth of my hard drive right there for Halo. Um, never mind the other Master Chief Collection, which is another 50 gigabytes, and if you have Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there's another 50 gigabytes. Boom, like half your hard drive's gone in three games. It's ridiculous. So, two terabytes would be really nice to have. Even though the console does support external hard drives, I've never went out to buy one to use one, but having the internal storage would be really nice. The other thing that's been rumored is a, a new Xbox One, which would be, from what I've heard, much bulkier, but would be VR ready, virtual, would be ready for the virtual reality headsets, and it would be much, much more, well, not a lot more, but decently more powerful than the new PS4 specs that had been leaked and probably aren't true because when specs like that get leaked, they're never true. So those are the two new consoles that we have to look forward to. Next, we have obvious more VR stuff from uh, Microsoft. Their VR headset, their little Microsoft glasses thing are obviously going to get shown more. Hopefully we'll get to see something cool from it instead of just Minecraft. Because it was cool, but you know, I'd like to see what other things developers can do with this. Because it's a weird technology and I can't really see anything amazing being done with it. It'd be hard to do something FPS-like or I think that would be really good would be RTSs, something like StarCraft or whatnot, having basically on a table a terrain that you can scroll across on your table and grab enemies and whatnot, or I mean, grab characters and whatnot and send them off to attack other people. It'd basically just be like a virtual reality Warhammer game, which would be awesome. That would look really cool. There you go. There's an idea. But, you know, they'll never take those ideas just like... Uh, Nintendo never took the Pokemon Snap idea, even though it was totally obvious. Whatever. We also have uh, more Gears of War. This is pretty obvious. Gears of War 4 has been announced, but I'm assuming we're going to see more campaign. It's something we haven't seen a lot of. We haven't really seen any campaign footage besides a little bit uh, last year. And we've gotten a decent hands-on with the multiplayer with the alpha so we know what to expect but they're obviously going to show off more Gears of War 4 and if they're going to show off anything I think they'll show off more campaign. Uh, we can also expect Halo announcements because it's Microsoft and Halo is obviously always in the works for them. Uh, Halo Wars 2 will probably be shown more, we'll probably get some gameplay footage of that being able to actually see the game in progress and I can't wait to see what it actually looks like. Seeing as it's being done by different developers this time, I'm interested to see what direction they're taking it in and how it plays out. Um, Halo Wars 1 was probably the only console RTS game I can ever say was actually decent to control. So I, hopefully that carries over to the Xbox One and Halo Wars 2. The other thing I'm guessing is a possible Halo 3 anniversary. Seeing as Halo 1 Anniversary came out 10 years after Halo 1, Halo 2 Anniversary came out 10 years after Halo 2 and Master Chief Collection, and it is 
2017 is going to be our 10 years after Halo 3. So some kind of announcement for that wouldn't be, wouldn't cross my mind. It would give them something to create between Halo 5 and Halo 6. Uh, so I'm not going to be too surprised if we see that coming out. Uh, it would, I would be surprised if we didn't see it. The last two things from Xbox are Sea of Thieves from Rare. I'm really interested to see this game more in action. From what they showed last time we saw it, there was a lot going on. Being able to travel to seas with other people online and pillage places and find treasure. I'm, I'm really excited to see what they do with this game. It is a crazy idea, an open world pirates game online with other people. I'm interested to see what they do with this. If they take it into an MMO kind of way, giving you quests and NPCs and hometowns and having maybe like rival islands. So like, kind of like in World of Warcraft, you have the Horde and the Alliance. Maybe there'll be something like that in this game. I'm interested to see what they do with that uh, and how the uh, how the mechanics of the game are going to play out. That's a big one for me. And the last thing is um, ReCore. We're going to see some more ReCore. Uh, it got delayed, which was kind of sad for us Xbox fans, but hopefully we'll see some more of it this year and see what uh, they've done with the delayed time that they have. I'm really excited for this game. It looks really cool, the kind of humans in a primitive state with giant robot dinosaurs. It's a weird idea, but I think it'll be actually really cool to play, especially just seeing the gameplay of them attacking uh, the giant robots. And speaking of giant things, Scalebound also delayed, uh, sadly, but hopefully it's going to be fantastic when it does come out. We'll probably see more Scalebound, which I'm looking forward to as well. That game looks fantastic. Another Xbox One exclusive that I'm looking forward to in the... Sorry, my camera paused. This is going to be a long video, so I might do that a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's a game that I'm definitely looking forward to. Next up is the NX, the Nintendo NX. We're probably not going to see it. It's been stated by Nintendo that the NX will not be at E3, which is upsetting seeing as the only playable demo they have at E3 is going to be Zelda Wii U. And if the rumors of Zelda Wii U also being on the NX are true, it's going to upset a lot of people, seeing as it's going to be another one of those uh, Twilight Princess kind of things. Is it going to be get better on the GameCube, or is it going to be better on the Wii? Is it going to be better on the Wii U, is it going to be better on the NX? It ended up being better on the GameCube for Twilight Princess, so who knows? Maybe we should get it for Wii U, maybe we should wait and get it for NX if it comes out for NX. I feel like Nintendo is going to be very disappointing this year. I feel like they're not going to announce really anything. I feel like there's not going to be much from Nintendo to look forward to, and there's not much in the works. So, I'm a little bit worried about Nintendo's year. I, I'm worried about what they're going to have, what they're going to show off, if they have anything at all. Um, they've been putting all their eggs in one basket with this NX, and if it works for them, that's great. And if it doesn't, they might end up having to just rely on their 3DS from now on, because their consoles have been doing very bad recently. The Wii U has been doing horrible. I can't say the Wii did bad, but overall it, I feel like it wasn't a good system. It sold well because it sold to a larger market than the, micro, than the 360 and the PS3 did. So I'm interested to see what this NX will be like, if it'll be, you know, PS4, Xbox One style, um, easy to, you know, be able to port games from Xbox 360 or PC to the Wii, the NX. That's one thing that I'm hoping for, being able to uh, port games over to the NX very easily, making it so, you know, we can have our Call of Duties or our, you know, whatever on X NX. Moving on, though, one big announcement that I'm looking forward to, and I'll hopefully I want to see some gameplay of, Red Dead Redemption 2, which has basically been confirmed at this point in time, and... I am really excited to see some more gameplay of that. I was a huge fan of Red Dead Redemption 1. I played the multiplayer a ton with all of my friends, being able to ride horseback into places and just bow, 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 just blow everyone away or stand on top of a building and become like five star wanted and have everyone trying to chase you down and try to kill you. It was in a western like art style. It was it's so fun. I loved it so much. And I can't wait to 
play the second one when it does come out. Ugh, I'm sorry I'm having to check the notes so often, but again, there's a lot to go over, and my brain isn't totally 100% there. So next we have Bethesda. There's a few things we can expect from Bethesda. Um, well, truthfully, we can't expect, but we're kind of thinking that it's going to happen. Evil Within 2 is hugely rumored. A HD remake of Skyrim is also hugely rumored. And what was the last one? Oh, Prey 2 is something that we're kind of hoping for since it was dead. It died. The game had been stated. It had been canceled. But there had been also talk that it could possibly, it's still a franchise and it could still come back at some point in time. So, you know, we still got our hopes that Prey 2 might exist at some point in time. Next up we have Capcom. Resident Evil 7. The directors have stated that Resident Evil 7 is going to go back to how it was before, focus more on scare taking from indie games and how they've been doing horror games recently and look really into that instead of, you know, their Resident Evil 5 and 6 ways of going about it which weren't scary at all. Uh, so, they're going to be taking ideas from that, and Evil Within, and all kinds of things, and try to focus more on that. And they've also been looking into VR and what they can do with that for Resident Evil 7. So, I'm interested in seeing how that plays out if we do see a Resident Evil 7 game at this E3. Hopefully, it looks scary. That's what I want. I want... I want scary... That's the weird thing, though. I want scary, but I still want to act... Like, I want Resident Evil 4. I want a new game that was kind of scary like Resident Evil 4, but still, you know, was fun to play. It wasn't, like... It, like, everything I feel like I'm saying here is, like, counteracting each other, but Resident Evil 4 was, like, the perfect mix of scary and action-based. So, I'm... Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for from Resident Evil 7. We also have Dead Rising 4... There have been some pictures posted stating that Dead Rising 4 is a thing coming out and then some tweets stating, no it's not, it's actually going to be a remake of the first game but much more open world, uh, being able to do more stuff and actually explore outside of the mall. So I don't know what to consider if it's actually going to be Dead Rising 4 or if it's going to be a remake of the first game, we'll have to wait and see, but I'm assuming there is going to be some kind of Dead Rising news from Capcom. Next we have some EA news, first off we have obviously Mass Effect, I'm assuming we're going to see some information about Mass Effect because every year we keep getting Mass Effect Andromeda, it's coming out, here's 5 seconds of gameplay, by gameplay I mean like this trailer thingy that looks dumb and it's you standing in front of a window. Yeah we haven't heard too much about Mass Effect Andromeda and I'm assuming that we're going to see something this year. It has to, or the game is just going to slowly fade into non-existent and never going to release. That's what I'm worried about. So hopefully we see something from Andromeda this year. We also have the obvious Battlefield 1, which was recently announced a couple months ago. Stupidest name ever, but it's... I'm interested in what it's going to be like. More interested, though, in Titanfall 2, now that it doesn't have to rely and make it work on a 360 and a PS3, and they can focus solely on the hard drive and everything that they have in the P Xbox One and PS4, I'm interested in what they can do with this game. Um, there's a lot of stuff like that, uh, Titanfall, that had to rely on dumbing the game down to work on a PS3 and a uh, Xbox 360. Same with Destiny. I'm interested in what we're going to see from Destiny. Obviously, there's been hints on their website stating new uh, expansion coming out with new raids and whatnot. So, I'm assuming we're going to see that from Destiny and Bungie at E3. More stuff on Destiny. I don't... I think it's still a little bit too early to be seeing anything from Destiny 2, but we're probably going to get some more information on expansions and whatnot coming out before we get to reach De uh, Destiny 2, which I'm assuming will probably be next year's E3. We also have some stuff from Ubisoft. Uh, mostly, I'm hoping for Beyond Good and Evil 2, which will probably never happen, but we can still hope. Uh, there's rumors that it possibly exists and it's being funded by Nintendo to be exclusive on the NX, but, you know, it's uh, probably never going to happen. Especially since it's Nintendo and they can't think outside of the box at all. I'm, I'm lying about that. They actually, they, they've made some really cool stuff in the past. We also have 
obviously Watch Dogs 2, which has been recently announced just a couple days ago, fully officially announced, and we'll see some gameplay of that probably at this year's E3, uh, maybe a longer trailer or whatever. We'll probably see more on Watch Dogs 2 at E3. Ooh. The last thing is more Ghost Recon Wildlands. We'll probably see some gameplay on that as well, and I don't know. Ghost Recon has kind of died out on me. I used to be in it a lot at the advan when it was out in Advanced Warfare, uh, in Advanced Warfare 2, uh, Gra or Gra 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was really into the games back then, but since then I've never, I haven't really played them. I know they had that free-to-play one on Steam for a while. I, ha I just haven't been in Ghost Recon for a while. But for Ghost Recon fans, hopefully we'll get some more news on Ghost Recon games. The last thing we have is WB Games. Um, it's rumored that we're going to be getting another Batman game, uh, obviously not made by the same people, but it's interesting to see what it would be like. There's also rumors of a Suicide Squad game that could be possibly first person or a third person shooter of some sorts. I don't know how that's going to work, and I have a feeling it's not going to be good. I have a feeling it's going to be a bad game. I feel like that's going to be one of those superhero games that people get excited for and then they play it and it ends up being crap. Which is upsetting because, you know, Suicide Squad is a fantastic uh, franchise and will probably get ruined in the next couple years, sadly. And we'll never see the light of it again for, you know, maybe 10, 15 years from now. That's what I think is going to happen with Suicide Squad, if you're wondering. I feel like the movie's going to crash. I feel like the game is going to be horrible. And I feel like no one's going to care about it. Sadly, seeing as the comics are actually very good. We also have more LEGO Dimensions! I know most people don't care about that, but I actually have LEGO Dimensions, and I love it. Um, and I have a lot of interesting expansions, you know, Doctor Who, Lord of the Rings, Simpsons, and all of their LEGO stuff, Ninjaga, whatnot. It's, it's awesome, it's funny to see, it's funny to see all these characters interact with each other, Batman interacting with the people from Wizard of Oz, stuff like that, and I love. So, they recently announced that LEGO Dimensions is picking up some more franchises for more expansions in the future, including the new Ghostbusters, Sonic the Hedgehog, Beetlejuice, uh, Mission Impossible, there's, there's a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of like weird stuff and a bunch of really cool stuff, so I'm really looking forward to what they have uh, in the future. I'll definitely have to pick up that Sonic the Hedgehog one, probably the Beetlejuice one. These are all things that I'm really excited for when it comes to LEGO Dimensions, which is sad, but, you know, I find it as a fun game that costs way too much money. Truthfully, yes. Uh, the last thing is, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is Shadow Mordor 2. I don't really have too much to say about it. I never played it that much. I played it a little bit, got sick of it very quickly, and kind of stopped playing it. So, you know, Shadow, Shadow Mordor 2... Some people will be super excited for it. Me, not so much. Again, sorry that I've been sounding horrible through this whole video. Sorry that it's been probably not the best video ever. But hopefully I'll be feeling better next week. And we can have fantastic videos next week. I don't know what they're going to be about. Truth. This is a long video. The video cut out again. Which means it's been like another 10 minutes. Which means this video is running on like almost 20 minutes, I think. Anyways... Who knows? Maybe we'll have more fan-made games. Maybe we'll have another cut content. Maybe I'll review something. Mirror's Edge just came out, so maybe I'll review that. Who knows? Post in the comments below what you want to see. Post in the comments below that what you think of E3. And post in the comments below uh, wishes of me feeling better. Yay!